Hello and welcome to the second video in terms of how to show you how to submit for assessment one which is a graded, a graded item for this unit. So once you enter the Blackboard unit site go to assessment and tasks, scroll down and you will see assessment one which is a graded assessment worth 25%. It's a placement development plan you can go up to it 500 words, you also need to complete an employability development profile survey. This assessment is due on 10th of March by 5pm and it's worth 25%. So once you're ready to complete the assessment, it's important that you look at what's required first. So you click into the assessment, you'll find a whole heap of resources here that have been designed specifically for this assessment to help you run through it in an effective and successful way. Take the time to have a look at these resources and have a look at the templates that we've provided for you. Please take note that it is your responsibility to design your own professional development plan, that these are only examples that you can use if you'd like, you don't have to. So I highly recommend that you have a look at the professional development plan example template, which is here. Also look at the sample of a professional development plan for a for time management as an example. You can also use the professional placement learning benchmark template as well. You will find these really helpful as you do assessment one, which has been broken down into A and B. Part A, you will need to complete the employability development profile. Give yourself a half an hour to complete this. Here is the link here. You click here to go to the survey. Remember to do a screenshot of your results which you will receive responses to how you complete the survey. I also highly recommend that you look at this survey and the, and the responses that you've received in terms of developing your professional development plan because you can include that in your plan as well which will be highly, highly worthwhile. So it's important that you've gone through phase one groundwork content area in the Blackboard unit site and also had a look at the additional resources where appropriate as well as the reading list. And when we say additional resources, we mean here. So you'll find additional resources here. We've got mind mapping resourcing to help you plan. There's presentation resources, which will help with some of your future assessments, video making, the important reading list that you need to have a look at because whenever you're talking about practice, you need to link that to research. And there's some other resources that you also might find helpful. So, before you even begin using the templates and developing your assessment, I always recommend students have a look at the rubric. And how you can do that is you click here. You'll come to the assessment area. This is a submission area. You have the due date here and you have the rubric here, which you can view in your own time. Really important that you have a look at the rubric to see what we're going to be measuring you on in terms of how we grade your professional development plan and you can come back here in your own time and have a look at that. That is really important. So then once you've had a look at the rubric, you've started to design your professional development plan, you've done the survey, you're starting to think about how the survey might be helping you with your development plan and what certain skills you're going to be looking at and focusing on in, during your placement. And, you, and you've spent some time in phase one groundwork and you've done the activities and you've done the readings and then you're at that point now where you're ready to submit because you've completed the assessment. You come back here and you scroll down and you submit here where it says browse my computer. You can attach your file. So I will just add a fake file here so you can see how this is occurring. For your assessment it will be a text document so a Word document but you can actually upload various different files but make sure it's the one file that you're submitting that includes part A and B and then once you've done that you click submit you'll be able to see that your file has been submitted and in some assessments you will need to do a plagiarism check and you can do that here you see that you've got the file here. Now, if you do not upload a file, then we're not able to give you feedback via your rubric. So this is why it's important that you do this process. If you have any 
questions or you have any issues with this process, please contact your academic supervisor. Thank you.